December 17th, 2022 The Saturday of the Third Week of Advent A reading from the book of Genesis Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm is, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The Gospel According to Matthew the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram. Aminadab became the father of Nation, Nation the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiad. Abiad became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azer. Azer, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliad. Eliad, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathen. Mathen, the father of Jacob. Jacob, 
the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations, from Abraham to David, is fourteen generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, fourteen generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, fourteen generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.